everyone, and welcome back to Drew Gamer's Pokemon Leaf Green Let's Play. It's been a long time since I've recorded anything. Uh, I've just watched the end of the last part, and apparently I tried to catch Moltres in the last part and failed, and then I just quit and continued. Uh, and I've been training up off screen. Uh, so everyone is level 45. We've got Darwin, Smaug, Owens, Dianaya, Chunk, Atlas. Okay, so I'm just refreshing my memory on it. Uh, okay, so everyone is level 45. I believe I have seven badges. Yes, I do. So I think in this part we're going to take on the eight gym leader. Uh, uh, I'm going to start off with a question straight away. Um... Who is your favourite villainous team out of Team Rocket? Um, team Aqua, Team Magma, Team Flare, Team Plasma, Team Galactic, Team Skull. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we've got what we've got. So, uh, who is your favourite villainous team out of all of those? Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments and. Let's go on with it. Okay, so we've got a lot of ground types in this. Actually, I don't know what we've got in here. But Owen seems like a safe bet. Heh, you must be running out of steam by now. No, we'll just walked in. Hopefully I remember to turn battle animations back on, because I always turn them off when I'm training. It is ground type, good. So yeah, we want to get some good experience as well, because obviously after this is the Elite Four. I'm probably going to leave, uh, like, catching Legendary still after the Pokemon League, so I'm going to leave Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno alone. Graveler? Cool. And Owens is going to be putting in work in this gym, I think. So, let's see how he does. I mean, uh, my wife, okay. I mean, DNI should be good in this gym as well. So, I might get DNI to do a bit of work as well because he hasn't really done anything in a long time. We haven't really seen DNI for a very long time. But we see Owens quite a bit just because he's got such a versatile, versatile moveset. <laughs> and grab one. I need to start the movesets as well, because I think Owens and Darren Eyes is finished. Char uh, Smogs isn't. I ran out of gas. Uh, Atlas's isn't. I don't believe Chunks is. And I think Darwin's is done. I think Darwin's moveset's fine. I believe. Yeah, Thunderbolt, Thunderwave, Shadow Ball, Pick Attack, yeah. Uh, Smog, Atlas, Darren Eyes, Chunk. Uh, what about Darren Eyes? Yeah, Darren Eyes. I mean, there's a black belt there, but we'll move them sort of walk around and stuff like you. Pokemon, I, Pokemon and I, we make wonderful music together. I'm gonna try and fight everyone as well. Nice. You are in perfect harmony. Cheers, mate. I don't know what, let's just get him. Oh, I'm working myself into a rage. This game's come out a bit quicker. Machop. That's fine, level 40 Machop. DNI is just like, ugh. I remember my days as a bell sprout, which was about. wasn't even a. Uh, two parts, I don't think. You think he evolved in. Uh, one part. <laughs> uh, the second you evolved in the second part, I think. But it might be three, maybe three at a max. And then he stayed as a weeping bell until really late. Okay, revenge. That's fine. Dion, yeah, I was just like, oh, you did thirty-four damage. I can absorb that back. It's fine. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, so we've got a train up there. There used to be irons in this gym. Uh, we can't go that way. I know which way I have to go. Your Pokemon will carry at the crack of my whip. Alright. I know which way I have to go. I'm just trying to think of a good way to get all the trainers. Arbok. Okay, that's actually a problem. <laughs> that's kind of weird there's an Arbok in here. Yeah, it's got Intimidate. Okay, so we're going to switch for Atlas. I need to get Earthquake on Atlas, but I think it doesn't learn it until really late. After oh, Flare. Okay. I'm going to have to speed that up, but it's fine. I'm going to use one too, but it's fine. I meant to actually use Dig. Because uh, I think I want to put Earthquake on Chung. I think I've got that written down. Who is going to come out now? I'm going to actually look at that, because I did write all my movesets down. <clears throat> uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, uh, break, break. Yeah. Return Body Slam, Earthquake, Brick Break. Earthquake, Rock Slide, Strength, Megahorn. So what level does... Wow, that did nothing. Uh... Cerebi. Right on. Gen 3. It learns it at... 58. Oh, wow, that's a long time. <laughs> 58 to 66. Okay, well, I have to, you'll have to wait then, because Chunk needs it more, I think. Or I could give a different move to Chunk. I'll have a look, see, I could give a different move to Chunk, but I think Earthquake's probably the best bet for Chunk. There's a lot of Black Belt in there. <clears throat> Karate is the ultimate form of martial arts. Okay. But what's another idea for Snorlax, then? So I don't know, so it's a return body slam is very quick, right? Okay. Uh psychic. Sorry. <laughs> uh Snorlax. Cerebi. Gen 3. Well, pretty safe, it's cool. Uh Gets Focus Punch, Water Pulse, that's kind of random, it gets Water Pulse, Ice Beam, Hyper Beam, and yeah, some of our... See, Earthquake! Earthquake's like the best option, to be honest. It's Psychic Return, Earthquake, Thunder, Thunderbolt, Solar Beam for straight, but it's Physical Attacker, so that's the... It's got more Physical Attack than a Special Attack, so... But it's a very defensive Pokemon. But I think... Earthquake... I don't think even got Earthquake. I think it's Earthquake and Victor Road. I don't know what I'm worried about too much. No, I don't know. It's like 226 or something. Okay. Um... No, was it was this guy this geezer here? Um uh, who should we get to take on this? We'll get Darwin today, because if you think again, I think Darwin will have Pretty Jim was close for a long time, but now our leader is back, and I just remember this is a grand tag gym. And I just put Darwin out in front. What an idiot. Depends if we got any grand type poker. Yeah, of course he does. Wow, that did nothing. This ghost is a physical attack in this game. Owen's oh, shrugging it off. Uh, 
that sound slash again. We're just gonna waltz through all these. So yeah, well, three sand slashes, a Nidorino, and a Skull Sprite, and a Nido King. Ooh, nearly level 47. I was beaten? I'm sure were. Uh, okay. I actually might need to go and heal, so I'm just gonna quickly just dash down. This is where we call uh, Owens, actually. Oh, yeah, I just remembered. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah. I uh, slowed down so I didn't end up doing that, and then I ended up doing it anyway. Okay, so. We need to fight you, and then we fight the guy at the top. And what are we going to use? We're going to use. Smile can't really do anything. We need to DNI again. We fight him at the top and he moves down and then we can get past that. Truly, the truly talented win this style. Oh, he's got five Pokemon, Marowak. Doing like, I'm trying to think of the, uh, the Elite Four now. Have I got enough coverage and everything? So we start off with it's Lorelei. So we've got DNI and we've got. Uh, Darwin for that, because she has Dugong, Jinx. What can I do to deal with the Jinx? Probably Atlas. Um, we've got enough stuff to cover that, though. And then it's Bruno, we've got Charizard and Owens for that. Then Owens and... I guess it's just seems to be a lot of it. Owens is definitely against Lance. Need Arena. Okay. I can figure out once I get there and stuff, but. Yeah. Just gotta make sure I can get coverage against everything that I need to. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I would! <laughs> Throughout the training from getting uh, Chunk up to level um, 42 to 45, I went to one island and used the Versus Seeker to, to train up around um, near the hot spring. And the quickest that I was finding were, for a lot of them was to train up against the two swimmers in there. One of them has a star and one of them has two seedrons. Uh, I lost my grip. And... Phew, no, I've got to go back out, so it's fine. It's, it's right here, so it may as well. Um, and as I was training them up, uh, my DNI was fine. Darwin was fine. Um, <clears throat> uh, Chunk, every time I used an attack with Chunk against the Seedra, when he wasn't poisoned, he got poisoned. It was very irritating. And I have to go off and heal again. Um, so that's a thingy trainer, isn't it? A black belt. 
So yeah, you can't go in there. I'm the Karate King, your favorite wrestling me. Not sure, sure how you get to the gym leader if you go out and he moves back into place. Maybe he doesn't move back. Really? Get it? Okay, we'll just slash it. Yeah. Let's just get you out of the way. Don't want to speed past every battle, but sometimes they just go so slow and you're just like, oh, hurry up. Okay, so we are going to start with Dionyra, I think. It's going to be Dionyra and Owens, this, this fight. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be it shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again. So be it. This time I'm not holding back. Once more you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Okay, so we've got right on. Right horn again? Really? That's level 50 right horn. Why has he not got a ride on? Oh, DNI, why did you have to do that? Doesn't matter. Play scary face. It'll probably do some damage to you, but it's fine. I don't know. I think we're still faster. Okay. Okay. Jump trio. In. Ooh, damn. There's a big level difference in his Pokemon. Jeez. <coughs> Bless me. <laughs> oh, Alright. Uh, need a queen you need to stay in. Kind of weird, like a lot. Of, a lot of the time, Nido Queen is noted as Giovanni's signature Pokemon, but it's not his strongest Pokemon. Usually, the strongest Pokemon is the uh, signature Pokemon, which was its level 50 Rhydon, a uh, Rhyhorn, which was expecting to be a Rhydon. I'm not sure why it's not a Rhydon. Really? Determined to keep this alive, aren't you? Wow. Maybe that's why it's a signature Pokemon. <laughs> okay, so that's at about half. Okay, and then Nido King will stay in with Owens. Love it a bit the old earthquake. Oh, do we get earthquake off him? Maybe I get earthquake off him. Ah, oh, nearly. Ha! That was truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the earth badge. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon any layer of bait without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon Elite. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokemon Elite Challenge. Yay! Team 26 contains Earthquake. It is a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here far too long ago. Having lost in this fashion, I can't face my followers. I have betrayed their trust. As of today, Team Rocket is finished forever. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to training again. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. And with that, Giovanni is left. So, I have a choice now because. 
I can either give Earthquake to Chunk or Atlas. So, Chunk or Atlas? Uh, let me just switch it. Because Atlas gets stab off it, but Atlas learns it naturally, but not for another 13 levels. Whereas Chunk kind of needs it, because it doesn't really learn anything else that'd be helpful, because it's special attacks like 72, but it's physical attacks 119. I'm going to give it to Chunk, the TM to Chunk, because Atlas can learn it naturally. We are going to get rid of rest, as helpful as it is. Yay! That's big. Okay. What I'm going to do, though, before we finish the part off, is I'm going to go over here. Over to Route 22, and head over to the Pokemon League. What? Drew? What a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collected all the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Drew, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on! So we got Dan here. With his picture. Level 47. I'll try and get everyone, well, during the training and stuff, through the... Uh, Blastoise, okay. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can get at least one Pokemon against one. He's got Gyarados. I oh, know he doesn't have Gyarados, does he? Because he's got Blastoise. Uh, one against one. And I'll see how it works out. But I'm going to try and get everyone to level 50. But during the Pokemon League, obviously, we won't... Uh, during the next part, we'll be going through Victory Road, so I'll be training as I go there, but I'll do off-screen training once we get to Elite Four. So this like, is Blast is like 53. It's got Water Gun. The hell? Really? Why has it got Water Gun? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so you'll have... He's got Ride on, so he's going to have a Ride on as well. I didn't actually know that. Uh, we'll get DNI against Riley's Corn then. I actually forgot his team. Oh. DNI. Alakazam Chunk Give it a bit of the old death going to a psychic, but well, that's fine because it's especially defensive. That didn't kill, wow. So what, you've got Arcanine, Rhydon, Alakazam, Blastoise, Pidgeot, and Executor? Or Execute? Execute. What? 
I was just careless. You. That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Drew, you need more practice. But hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Smell it. Go back and trade. Uh, trade and heal. Right. Well, we've got a few things done in this part. In the next part, I'm going to head over to Victory Road, and then the part after that, we'll be taking on the Pokemon League. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part, everyone. Bye.